In today's video, I'm taking my cousin Pio on an unforgettable Filipino adventure. I've convinced him to dive into one of the most challenging sports on the planet, Jiu-Jitsu. It's not just a test of strength, but a true mental battle. And the adventure doesn't stop there. After our intense session, I'm pulling him into another daring challenge, a buffet like no other, priced at an unbelievable 348 pesos, roughly $7 in the United States. Will this gamble pay off? Join us on this thrilling journey and find out. Pio, how was your first try at jujitsu? It's very hard. So, I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm going to Would you do it again? Yes. So, this is Pio's very first time rolling on a jujitsu mat. I wanted to follow suit with my amazing coaches and kind of just let him work and get a feel for what it's like to have somebody trying to squish you essentially or even try to choke you. So here he has me in closed mount and then I move to side and then here he gets me in closed mount again and he actually goes for a collar choke which he learned literally about five minutes before and I'm going to be honest with you, I almost tapped. I think just by the pure fact of bravado, I didn't tap and I didn't panic. I kind of just let him wear his hands out and he eventually let go. I'm not kidding. I was seconds away from either passing out or tapping out and it was amazing because once again, he just learned it from the fellow blue belt who was visiting from California. Shout out to Mel and there I am. I'm free and what an amazing role for Pio's very first time. All right, guys, we are done with jujitsu. We're going to recap how our experience or how Pio's experience was <laughs> over this buffet that I've been eyeing for the past couple of months. So uh, my son's um, doctor's office where we do our checkup and stuff uh, across the street is the buffet. And I'm, I'm always intrigued by the fact that it's under 360, under 400 pesos for all you can eat. So um, I posted on my story that it's either um, gonna be an amazing experience or it's a foodborne illness waiting to happen. <laughs> and there's only one way to find out. But um, for sure, it's a good way to re-up on the protein and all of the calories that we uh, burn, right? Yeah. What's the cheapest buffet you've ever had here in Pampanga? I uh, na tikman na sa 250 lang. 250 pesos. Ano uh, Only Samji. So... Yung 250 na yun, makukuha mo ano expect mo. So, mura siya. So, yung mga meat, mm, matigas. Ah. Tsaka yung, lalo na yung, yung beef, hindi siya yung pag isang mga mahal na buffet na yung makikita mo, pagkaluto, dark yung meat. Ah. Yun dun sa 250, medyo light. So, medyo chewy din siya. Yeah. So, which one is this? Where? Yun dyan sa poor boss sa may um, Marisol. What is it called? Poor boss. Poor <laughs> boss. <laughs> 250. Okay, well this one's 290 na pala. Oh. Dude, that's cheaper than what we're going to go to, but I mean, I think under 400 pesos between or 350 to 400 pesos, that's the cheapest I'm willing to go. Mm. <laughs> I feel anything lower is too much. So, oh, did you get sick or anything? No, ni naman. But it's uh, good for its price naman eh. Yeah. Diba? Exactly. You will not expect naman na uh, higher grade na na meat mm -hmm. para sa price na yun. So yun. Okay. It's okay. So um, we will head to the buffet and we will recap on Pio's first time doing jujitsu and then we'll see if I get sick eating this cheap ass buffet. Let's go. Uh, you know where Acumen is? It's really close to mommy's house. Okay. It's close to mommy's house. What is that considered? I don't know. Basta... Is that... Daan papuntang Holy Rosary. Yeah. We call, we call it Daan papuntang Holy Rosary. Ah, uh, okay. So uh, we're headed to Daan papunta so Holy, Ro Ro Holy Rosary. Basically what I think what Pio's trying to say is just on the way to Holy Rosary. Yeah. That's where we're going to be. The place, I don't know what the restaurant is called yet. I'll find out. I'm going to plug it in. But there's just a big ass sign and all it says. Unlimited Samgip. That's like a super popular business here. Um, just, you know, Unli. My favorite word since I've moved here, only. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what it means, 
unlimited. Um, so I think some tips for myself going into this cheap buffet, I'm just gonna make sure that the food is cooked properly. Even if it's beef, I'm not gonna aim for anything red. I'm gonna make sure it's overcooked and then, whoa, 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 whoa. And then um, as far as the sides, if it's room temp, I'm not gonna eat it. I think it's room temp, but I yeah. like it. Yeah, you know what we're gonna do this? We gotta go all in. What a treat, everybody. It just so happens that Atamalu, owner of Atamalu's catering restaurant, is here. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, by the way, Tagalog, English, it's up to you. Yes. Okay. Sir. Or even Kapangpangan, whatever yes, you want to do. Mas maganda, sir. Kapangpangan. Ah, see, yeah. So, Kapangpangan ka? Yes. Sir. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ako rin. <laughs> First of all, um, I was very surprised for the price and then the quality of food. Like high five. Because yes, uh, Meron na kong uh, restaurants in California. Yes, sir. Uh, chef ako. Yes, sir. Very good. Yes. Very good. Thank so you, sir. Thank I was very surprised. So thank you so much. Yes, sir. What was your inspiration for opening up a restaurant? My inspiration, sir, is to ano. Yung para. Um, inspired natin yung kapwa natin kapampangan na magaling sa pagluluto yan so kailangan sa yung maana yung may pa tikim natin sa kanila yung luto ng kapampangan sir okay okay last question last question is it true that the kapampangan people are the best cooks in all the Philippines yes that's true I agree. Yes, sir. Kasi sa ano yung papa yan eh, sa ka, ano, kanununuan pa natin. Kasi ang kapampangan, sir, pag yan nagluto, matagal ano yan eh. Matagal i-marinate. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. sa, sa kapampangan tawag masingkot siya. Masingkot siya. Yes. Yes, ganun yes. po. So, is a uh, masarap. That, that's why the Angeles or Pampanga is the capital of the whole country. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -mm. I agree. Mm -mm. High five, Atamalu. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Mm -mm. So we got the 348 peso, all you can eat, Samji, and buffet. Let's check it out. Looks like we got some dinaguan. What do you think? What do you think that is? Or is that um, what's the other one? The kabangpangan one? What is it called? Uh, it's tit tad. You think it's tit tad? This looks like what? Kare kare. Lechon kare kare. Whoa, dude! Look at this. This is not bad for 348 pesos, man. Okay, we got some sweet and sour wings, sisig. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm glad I came. I'm glad I came here. Tokwat Baboy, Pancit. Dude, and it's all fresh. This is dope, man. Rice and beef caldereta. It's like beef caldereta, right? Check this out. Behind me, if you don't notice, live music. We think it's every night. Now, the true test is the food, but so far, I'm feeling all the vibes. Feeling all the vibes. I like it. All right, let's dig in. Are you hungry? Let's go. Let's go. Just a reminder, at the 348 price point, you get iced tea, water, you get your own little cook station, which comes with the pork, which we're gonna grill ourselves, some lettuce, and then you got the buffet. We got a little bit of everything, and then also they gave us some wings, which is also unly. But I gotta double check with the server. I don't know if it was like on the house or um, if it was included, but um, I'm excited. This actually is pretty promising. Let's dig in. I'm gonna start off with the Farmer John cheese. 
Have some peel. There's two each. Okay. Yep. This is good, dude. Not really feeling the um, all-purpose white sauce, but the wings stand alone. They're good. Puyo RJ approved. It looks like a classic Kapan Kwang and Sisig. And once again, yeah, please. It's so hard to find Sisig here in Pampanga that isn't good. Yep. So, the Sisig is a very classic, typical Sisig you'll find here in Pampanga, which is delicious. Did you like the sisig? I think we're not in sisig. No? Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Ano yung mga sisig na hindi? Pero mga sisig na ano yun? Parang pangkaraniwan yun. Pero ito hindi siya. Pare ko. Drop. Tapos ito. Crispy pare ka rin. Yeah. Ganito yung mga gusto ko yung mga may mga twist. Lalo na kung nari. Pagkari ka rin. Ito yung speed pack. Ito. Ano ito? Tsaka ka malambot. This one is good. Okay, Arjun. Okay, siya. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try this time, yep. I mean, the grilled pork. Oh, this is definitely a pork shoulder. I was right. So the um, unlimited pork shoulder comes with a dipping sauce. It looks like, um, what is that, goji jang? I think it's goji jang. I am not mad at this buffet at all. Under seven dollars. Only drinks. Only wings. Only Filipino food. All right, let's get into do the pancit. Wow, dude, this place has really surprised me, man. The pancit's good. A lot of flavor. The noodles are cooked right. Hmm. I am feeling it. All right, talk about Bob Boy. Yep, that's good too. My tummy is happy. That's the most important thing. Yeah, would you come back? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I would definitely recommend this place. I would come back. Whether you're looking for a value or not, this place is dope. Now, on to the most important part of the video. Pio's experience. First, first time at Jiu Jitsu. So, now that you have time to process, it's been about like five hours since we rolled in the morning. Yeah, what were your like, expectations and what were you were thinking leading up to it? So, una, uh, I think it's weird because nung nakita natin, eh, nung nakita ko, parang magkapatong talaga. Magkapatong yung yeah. guy. Diba? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I don't normally see guys uh, na naki nakikita yeah. kong ganun. Like this? Like this. So, talagang yung muka, malapit na malapit, ganun. Tapos, pag minsan, yung, yung as in, dikit na dikit talaga. Pero, when I'm doing it naman, so, hindi ko siya nafe-feel na weird. Feel na weird. Kasi, parang I'm fighting for my life. Yeah. <laughs> Nasasakal ko. Yeah. And sobrang pagod, sobrang pagod. Hindi ko expect na ganoon kapagod dahil yun nga parang fino-force mo yung sarili mo para makaalis sa position na linalak ka nila, ganoon. And it's a good experience na marirelease mo yung energy mo doon in a good way, 'di ba? Parang yung tension mo, yung stress sa buhay ganoon. Marirelease mo doon. It's good. And um, para sa akin maulit ko pa yun. I'll do it again sa susunod. Diba? That, that, was, that was my next question. So I think 
I mean, that really just like kind of answers everything. Because, you know, when you do jiu-jitsu, it's either, in my opinion, it's either for you or it's not. Yeah. So, you heard it from Pio. He would come again. Shout out to the morning crew at Sunset Valley. Shout out to Coach Shame. Shout out to Coach Wilfred for being such an amazing school. I talked about this a couple um, episodes ago, but I can't say it enough, man. Sunset Valley Jiu-Jitsu in San Fernando, Pampanga. Probably one of the best schools in all the Philippines. Check them out. And I'll see you again on the mats. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, that concludes this week's video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share with a friend. And I want to thank you guys. Happy New Year. And if you haven't already, check out Ate Malou's Catering and Restaurant.